What is happening, all you twisted truckers? First Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Yes, we are in Kansas. Dilly and I are running it from Topeka. Or Topeka or Wichita. I think we're running from Wichita up to uh, Junction City. Is that right? Is that is that right, Dilly? Dilly is supposed to be like my dispatch, and he is not doing a very good job of it lately. So, um, yeah, so we're coming up from uh, Wichita, I believe, and we're heading to Junction City. We're hauling frozen vegetables, of all things. I, I don't know. It, just, it was a job I picked up. Paid five grand. I believe that's what the case is. Um, right. Let's see. Yeah, five and a quarter, or five, five and a half. So we're good. We're good with that. Um, that's what I was looking to do. Something to get out of there. I do have, I'm showing some signs of uh, fatigue on my truck. So definitely gonna have to find a place to repair the truck at. And it's probably, it's actually, I don't know, maybe a little bit of damage here and there. I did back into something when I was trying to get, I was mean, at a rest stop. I didn't think it damaged it that well, that hard, but maybe I did, I, I don't know. Um, but I've been, I've been trying to keep everything on the up and up. I'm trying to keep, you know, the speed limits down. Uh, the lights, I have my lights on freaking all the time. Yeah, I have my lights on all the freaking time. So I try not to get a, a violation for that whatsoever. But um, for the most part, we're, we're doing pretty good. We are traveling around in Kansas. Like I said, wheat fields. There you go. Oop, I'm drifting. Um, so yeah, we filled far, as far as the eye can see. Now I was thinking I'm gonna have to take pull up the map, and take a look at it. I-70. I thought for sure I-70 cut across the center of Kansas. Maybe I'm wrong. I know I-70 does cut across the center of Missouri, and I thought that carried on through the center of Kansas. Didn't think it. I mean, that's what I was thinking that it did. I wanted to pull up the map now that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm heading north. So I was suspecting to cross over I-70, right? I haven't seen it yet. So maybe it's just me. Maybe it's the map. I don't know. Uh, maybe they've changed it. I know for a fact that um, there was a Highway 71 that ran from Kansas City. It ran south almost directly along the border of uh, Missouri and Kansas. It was 71. Now it's called something else. I have no idea. Um... I don't know, it's like 495 or 475. I, I don't know what it is. But anyway, um, but yeah, it used to be called 71, and that would be our, that was the main highway I drove all the time anyway. Um, so I know. So maybe they've changed it over the years. I don't know. So I'll have to take a look at the map once we get to our destination, because my sole priority right now is to get to our destination. Right, Dilly? We got frozen vegetables, man. We need to get them before they thaw. And that is that is always the case with some of these emergent uh, deliveries is to make sure we get them there on time. Now, I've got plenty of time to get this one done. I think I've got, what does it say, six hours? Yeah, I mean, I've got, jeez. Uh, I've got 21 hours. I've got 21 hours to get there. I've got 11 hours worth of uh, a week time to get through. So I'm good. I'm good. It is 3.30 in the afternoon, which honestly, I'm probably going to do one more mission, one more job before I call it a night because I want to try and get myself back on the day schedule. I hate driving at night. You know that I do. So I like uh, staying staying ahead of it and uh, trying to do day, day schedules as much as possible. I'll only do the night schedules when I'm not... Uh, if I'm just trying to get in between cities and just trying to get someplace else and then uh, bring you guys back on board uh, when I get to a different city. But yeah, that's the only time I would ever drive at night is just to get to a destination. But right now we're in Kansas. It's brand new, man. Um, it's flat. I don't know if it's as flat as Ohio, but it's flat, man. <laughs> There's no mountains out here. Take my butt back to Colorado. Take my butt back to uh, California, Washington State, Utah. Let's let's go back there. Um, 
I kind of, I'm kind of drawn to the mountains. I'm not really drawn to all this. The plains, the plains states. That's what they, they call it, right? The plain state. Yeah, you're right. They are very plain. We did Oklahoma, and it was called the Sooner State. Yep, I would sooner just leave it. That's right. I've got all the jokes tonight, punk. I got all the jokes tonight, people. So we are traveling across here. Dilly is surprisingly awake right now. Look at that bright-eyed, bushy tail. Well, I don't know about bushy tail, right, Dilly? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, he's hanging in with me. He's happy that you guys are joining us this this afternoon, as we are cruising up north. Uh, a couple of things I want to do when I get up there. One is to find some place to repair the truck. Two, uh, maybe looking for a place for another garage. Now, I'm looking at 5.6 million. I was hoping to top out at the 6.5, just the opposite, kind of dyslexic a little bit. Uh, uh, looking to get to the 6.5 million before I decided to buy another garage and load it up, right? But, okay, there's a repair facility right there, so um, that's good. Let's drop this off and so we'll go hit that repair facility right there. We're just down the street, so that works. But yeah, we are looking to find another garage, and I'm thinking Kansas City, Kansas. Why? Because it's on the border over there. But, you know, if they ever bring out Missouri, Kansas City might be a place where I want to put another truck. So Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas. It kind of seems kind of redundant, doesn't it? Um, so... Uh, for Missouri, I'm thinking uh, Columbus, Columbia. Uh, that's the area I'd probably look. Oh, oh my. Um, I was not paying attention there, brother. Sorry about that. Oof, man, that could have been disastrous. Um, so for Kansas, it might be Topeka. It might be Wichita. I'm not sure yet. What I want to do is just visit all the cities first, and then I'll make a decision at that point. Um, this is where it ends. This is where it ends. Her voice gets so deep. So drama. This is where it ends. Okay, let's put this bad boy over here. Frozen vegetables. So you guys have got to get these frozen vegetables out of my truck. Get them going someplace else. I am out of here. I'm going to go get some repairs done to the truck. I've got a nice little truck stop over here. So that's what I am going to do. Oh. That came up on me real quick. slowly but surely creeping up to level 45 but i'm doing well okay so let's go back to our map uh right here we are in junction city we want to go back to this uh oh, we want to go back to oh crap look at this stuff absolutely nuts i want to go so, yeah, that's what I want to do. <laughs> it had me going in all kinds of different directions, and I am not into that. All right, Ready let's go, go grab ourselves. I think I can go the long way around here. Like a racetrack back here, man. Lock them brakes up. Oh, we gotta get out over here. Truck wash? Can I get in there? Will it allow me to get in there? I don't know if it'll let me get in there. No, it will not. But man, would that be kind of cool. I am surprised they don't have that 
as part of the thing. Like your truck gets dirty over you know, a thousand miles. If you've traveled a thousand miles or so, your truck gets dirty. You have to clean it. You have to take it to a truck wash. And then it charges you like 150 bucks to wash the truck. I'm surprised they don't do that. That's that's actually Turn left. I'm really surprised, actually, that they don't do that. I'm I'm actually yeah, I'm like I mean that's oh jeez, look at the freaking traffic. Um that's really surprising. Ah, uh, man, these guys are out like ruptured ducks, as my mom would say. I'm going to have to put together a Wednesday night social with Quasar. Question and it's questions and answers with Quasar on a Wednesday night. Oh, come on, really? Looks like I have to really like. I'm gonna have to force myself to come out here. Yeah. Just had to force myself out because they were not gonna stop. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to be the aggressive driver. Uh, okay, so the Pair of stations on the other side of the overpass. Go straight on. Get oh, what Get is right. this? Oh, green light. These, these, um. Ooh, did I hit somebody? Ah! Uh, ah, uh, did I hit somebody back there? I probably did, and I probably need some repairs. Yikes. Um, I didn't think I did. I didn't get a citation. I swear I was in my lane, so maybe he ran into me. Okay, so maybe... I don't know. It wasn't deliberate, that's for sure. Alright, so we have this area right here. Ah, repair shop right dead ahead. All right. Uh, so truck maintenance. So this is one of the updates that they've done. Um, so you can update, you can repair just what certain things, or you can repair everything, right? Or you can replace everything. Um, if you replace everything, as you can tell, it's a lot more money, 60 grand. If you repair it all, it's only going to cost you three grand. So I'm going to confirm that. Um, for my tires, I'm actually going to, um, let's see, what can I do here? That's, this is the repair, or this repair, that's replace. So I'm going to replace the tires. They've got 2% wear. So no matter what, I can't repair everything, but I can replace those. So I'm going to confirm that. Go back to zero. Now I'm good to go with um, my repairs. So like right here is the cab damage. This is chassis damage. This is um, transmission and gearing damage. And this is engine damage. So yeah, you can uh, repair or replace. So that's a lot of money to replace. So that's not a big deal for me to replace it right now because I, I am making I am making a lot of money. Uh, I'm not trying to brag, but yeah, I mean I'm I'm doing well. So you know, why not just repair at this point? Uh, tires you have to replace because you can't repair tires. I mean, come on. I mean, why? All right, let's grab ourselves another job here. So we're gonna go to the job market. We're gonna go with the external job contracts. Um, we are in Junction City, so we can go just about anywhere we wanted to. Topeka would be a good one. Uh, Marysville would be nice as well. So let's go to the lowest one here. Junction City to Selene. Selena. Uh, nope, don't want to go there. Uh, I want to go to Hayes. That's clear across back over here. Now, I probably do need to get back to Hayes at some point, but I don't want to do it today. Um, 
Junction City to Wichita. Um, we just came from there. Uh, Junction City to Topeka. I don't know how far that is. Um, Topeka, 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 Wichita. Just came from Wichita. Hayes, uh, Wichita, uh, Emporia. Interesting. But I don't want to go through one city to get to another because it just, it'll just throw me all off. Uh, Jackson City, Kansas City, Kansas. That's another one I don't want to really touch. Uh, I am thinking at this point. Mm, yikes. So, may go back here. Okay, that's not going to happen. Uh, maybe to back to Hayes. I hate going back to Hayes because it's such a long journey going back there, but I think it's one of those cities I haven't done. As a matter of fact, uh, I haven't done Topeka. Distance, 85 miles. 85 miles, 85 miles, 85 miles. No, I can't do that. That's 85 miles. Um, Hayes is 132. I could get back that way. And I think I need to get back to Hayes again. I hate going back to Hayes. But I may have to, to do a jumping point. Um, for another city. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it does pay six grand. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. I mean, I hate going backwards. I, I want to be able to hit all the cities and be able to do everything. But it just, it's not in the cards. It just really isn't in the cards. So, I'll just roll with it. And see where the highway takes me. Okay, here we go. She's so cheery. All right, we are out of here. Turn right. It's gonna take me six miles to get there. Where are we at here? I hate these roundabouts. Get ready to turn right. Okay, green light. Turn right. Oh my gosh. Okay, green light. <laughs> the green light gods are with me. Oh, we're going right, almost right back to where we were before. Is it? I don't think so. No, we haven't been there before. Oh, damn, I took that wide. All right, let's go up here and see what we have. Well, what were we hauling in the first place? I think we, we were hauling some concrete or some glass. I'm not sure what the job was. Yikes, what is that I'm hauling? Finally, we are here. I want to say it's glass. That's what I want to say it is, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me get hooked up and then we'll check it, check the stats, and then we'll get on the road. All right, we have it locked and loaded. We have two hours and 20 minutes. I think we are good to go. We will actually get some sleep on our next town. Definitely for sure. 
Uh, so two hours and 20 minutes will put us right at about 8 o'clock at night. Uh, I'm going to roll the stop sign. Man, I hate coming up on a curb like that. Jeez. Get ready to turn left. All right. Turn left, huh? And I've got a lousy stop sign here. I'm hoping people in the oncoming lanes will leave me alone. Okay, here we go. I gotta make through these because I'm not even sure how these work out. I'm not even... I haven't Exit done these left. before. Exit left? Okay. Alright, exit left. Like the, the Rush album. Exit stage left. Alright, we are out of here. We are up on the highway and we are... Yikes, we are westbound and down. We're not even eastbound and down. We're westbound and down. All right, speed limit is 75. Do a double check on my lights. Yep, lights are good. Uh, doing a check on my trip. We got 17 hours. That's good. Uh, to get it done, I've got nine hours of awake time, which is not a bad idea to get some sleep. Um, yeah, we're good. I think we're good. We're hauling some glass. That's what it is. We're hauling glass. So we are heading westbound right now, heading out to Hayes. Hopefully that's one of the seas, if I remember right. It's one of the seas I didn't really pick up on the on the uh on the quest log only because i think i had like 85 miles from from wherever i was going to for coming from and going to haze so it didn't really pick up so hopefully this one will i'll have to check my quest log a little later on today and see where we at we are at on that <sighs> all right so like i've said before tulsa or um kansas very flat very flat. Um, didn't really have any other stories about Kansas, with the exception of because I lived in Missouri, the drinking age was 21. Kansas drinking age, however, was 18. So at the time, we, a buddy of mine and I, um, used to jump across the state line, go buy beer come across the state line and then go to a drive-in and just hang out all night with their girlfriends or whatever and have a good time so so Kansas does have a few good memories for me in my uh, in my past but you know like I said most of it's wheat fields and flatlands so not a whole lot out there I will say though this, I always thought Kansas City, Kansas was prettier and cleaner than Kansas City, Missouri. Don't hate me. All right, hour and 21 minutes. So this is roads uncharted right now. It looks like we are charting our own destiny going westerly. It, the sun is starting to set. I can feel it. I can see it. Dilly, I'm sure I'm, I'm surprised you're not rolled up in a ball right now going to sleep, man. This is, um, it's been a long haul for you today. Oh, yeah. Hitting the rumbled strips. I hate when that happens. Some some states the rumble strips are like a foot off of the white line, 
some of them are right on the white line. So even if you like touch the white line, you get rumble strips. And that just freaks me the hell out because I'm used to uh, the rumble strips being a little bit off of the white line, like since six inches or a foot off the white line, you know? And then when you're, when you hit the rumble strips, you know for sure you've gone, you've crossed the white line. When you right on the white line, you got the rumble strips, you're like, holy crap, man. These guys are trying to keep you in line altogether. Me, myself, and I, I like it a foot off the white line. Give me a little space. You know what I'm saying? Some of you coming in wondering why I'm only going 65 and a 75. Well, when you work in external contracts, 65 is the maximum speed limit they will let you go. Think of it this way. It's their insurance that you will get there in one piece. <laughs> that's, what it has, so that's how I think of it. So I'm good with that because it does still get you there on time. And if you're going through towns or something, that is the speed limit is 60 or even 55, you can kind of gain a little bit of ground there. You know, just lock it in on your cruise control and go. Ah, looks like some storm clouds are brewing over there. Whoa, almost clipped him. Uh, looks like some storm clouds are brewing over there. I was looking for a tornado or something. We are at dead center in Tornado Alley, though. All right, Tori has leveled up. Tori LW. One of my newer, newer uh, truck drivers. Oh, we have ourselves a photo opportunity. Um, shall we do it from the highway? Sure, why not? Let's get up here. And yep. then exit right. I certainly will as soon as I get my photo opportunity there, young lady. So here we go. Um, it's the Stromsburg Museum, which, you know what? I may even take this as my thumbnail for the video. Not nah, right. All right, looks like we are taking this exit right here. I probably could have waited until we took the exit in, uh... Keep left. All right. Oh, crap. I can't go but one way. He's blasphemy. Ah. Uh. These roundabouts. Yeah, that's right. I may have cut that guy off, but I had plenty of room. I had a person in front of me stop right at the entrance of the roundabout and waited for the person to the left to enter the roundabout and then go with the full circle around the roundabout, which they actually turned off before they even got to our... And then continue straight off. Our entrance, which, oh my gosh. Anyway, Go straight on. I am, when it comes around, wow Keep my left. god, how many roundabouts are in Kansas? I'll tell you this. When I was growing up, I never had this many around, never saw a roundabout. Actually, the only roundabout I ever saw was in pictures of UK or somewhere overseas. And I thought it was hilarious that they had them. Never saw them before. And actually, I think my first one was where I'm living now, I guess. I mean, I feel like that's, that's the first time I've 
had a roundabout that I actually had to deal with. Okay. Alright, so what do we got here? Um, let's play it safe, like always. Play it right there. Okay. Check out the mirrors. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to look. What do we have here in this area? Oh, we got something to look forward to over here. Um, we're going to go over here. We're going to check that out. And um, um, I think that's about it. That's all we are going to do tonight. So. That looks like it's a good place to crash for the night. Looks like it's a good place to uh, get to some roll. gas. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So I will catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging with me. Dilly and I. Dilly? Definitely. Uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out. So um, I do too. So thank you very much. And I will catch you all later. This is Hurst Quasar saying good night, everyone. We will catch you on the flip-flop. I am out.